Hey there, crafty friends. I got a little Timu haul. So, let me show you. The first thing that I got is this die set. <clears throat> and I love this die set because, and this is what I have always said, I don't understand why when they make die sets that are rectangles, they're not A2 size and A2 compatible. I just think that's something that, that's the way it should be but you know it's not always that way but this one is and I love it so here's just a card base with a four by five and a half mat and so there is these two pieces cut out and so I love that and so then here is <clears throat> excuse me the piece that comes out of the middle of that so, you know, here we go on our merry way. And then here it is, just cut out by itself. And so then, you know, you could start building this way with different colors or whatever you wanted to do. And, um, and I didn't cut out every single one of them, but I did want to show, if I can get this straight on here, this one is the perfect size for, uh, um, a sentiment or this one even you know plenty of room for a image still on there and you could cut this one and then cut this one on top of it and and so it would you know be like that and put your sentiment inside of there so anyway it's like a wonky double stitch and um and it is the largest one is four by five and a quarter so that that is a die set my friends that is my opinion <laughs> okay so let me move this over so then i got this set of doors it's called the story of doors and i've already punched the center pieces out so you get two of each one and you know i think these are so pretty and you could distress them and use them for Halloween just saying and you know you could build a whole um, storefront with them or a creepy manor or whatever you wanted to because they're so cool and again perfect for an A2 you know so I'm really liking those. There those are. Now, these other things, I've already taken out of the package and have them in my little um, Harbor Freight container. So, I'm just going to... So, these are um, like little resin hearts. They're in soft pink, hot pink, red, black, and white. What that is. But anyway, those are always handy to add on something, you know. Sometimes you just need a little little something something a bow or a heart or something and and um i thought those were nice <clears throat> so there's that i got these little polka dot mushrooms are they not so cute and i have um some mushroom dyes and i'm gonna you know they'd be so cute intermingled in there i think that's all the varieties Let's see, no wait, maybe there's a hot pink one right here. Yeah. So aren't they cute? But see how the tops of them are polka dot? They're so cute. I love them. So there's that one. And then I got some more of these little ice cream cones. They're so cute. I used some of these on my um, Halloween ice cream truck. And... I just think they're so cute. They come in all kinds of colors and flavors and all. And uh, so I just got the mixed, the mixed variety. So anyway, got those. It was doodah. Doodah time. I was looking through my doodahs. All right, so then I got, you know, I've got flowers once before. So these are all shades of green. Ugh, and I love them. I think they'll be so cool on Halloween projects. <laughs> ah! 
or they could even look like a little bitty succulent, you know. Oh, <clears throat> I almost forgot these. So I've got these cauldrons. Look how little they are. Look how stinking cute. So if you stuffed something in there and filled that up with those, they would look like little succulents. Isn't that cute? Look at the size of that. So Okay, so I got those, and I also got this lantern. And it's really lightweight. It's plastic. You know, that part's hollow. So you could... I could use my waxes to make it any color that I wanted to, and it would look metallic. The same with the cauldron, but I like a black cauldron. So anyway, and then I could even rub the iridescent on the, um, or the gold on here, or I could go over it with a yellow Sharpie, and it would make it look like it's on. <laughs> Fun stuff there. Okay. Now, in one of the um, in one of the things of roses that I had, it had mixed things, and they were snakes. There was a few snakes in there, and I was like, "Oh, those are so little and so cool!" And these are iridescent, and um, you know, any kind of little Halloween thing you're doing would be cute with a little snake in there. I think that's like maybe this one. This pink one. Yeah. Look at those colors. Oh, they're yummy, I think. Yummy snakes. I hate snakes in real life, but, you know. In a project, they're just the ticket. Sometimes. And you can hide one. I was thinking, oh, this this Halloween, I might hide a snake in every Halloween thing I do. I think that'd be pretty fun. And I got a bunch of... It's, it's more than would fit in just one little case. Uh, I'm Maybe... I might be able to jiggle it down so I can get them all in there. All right. So then I got these, which I think are so cute. So they could be a wand. I mean, it looks like it's dripping down. It's a star. So I got the stars and I got the hearts. And I think those are just so cool. And, of course, you can take your alcohol markers and color or alcohol inks and, you know, make them whatever color you want. So there's an added added bonus in the mix. Then I got these bows. Now, sometimes you need a tiny little bow to go on something. And these are iridescent and I think they're absolutely beautiful. And they're so little. Let's see. Yeah, there's a green one. I think that's all the colors. Aren't those pretty? So, I got some of these, which is probably more than I will ever use. But, you know, I mean, these little things, they're under nail charms in Timo, and they're, you know, they're like less than a dollar. And, um, definitely worth it, I think. And these are jellyfish, y'all. Oh, I love them. You know how jellyfish are just sort of magical, mystical beautiful things look at them oh i think they're so pretty let's see i might not have that one anyway they're so pretty and as you turn them in the light that iridescence is ooh la la and then once before i had ordered some tiny little starfish but they're regular starfish colors and i saw these and i think they were like maybe 28 cents it was something ridiculous and so for some reason when i was shopping i thought the purple ones were so cool but they're they're real starfish they're just dyed i think those are amazing so they'd be pretty with my little jellyfish in any kind of summer scene or dun 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 purple for halloween so anyway that was my um, Timu haul, and I'm really excited to play with all these things. As you see, I had, had to get my little containers. These are the um, containers that come from Harbor Freight. You get a box like this, and it's got 24 of these in it. Of course, I take it out of the box, obviously. I use the boxes for ephemera and other different things, but I have um, watchmaker drawers and... I line these up like this in my watchmaker drawers, and there's 
drawers of colors, drawers of things, you know. You know, organization. Oh, and today I organized my eyeballs. <sighs> I think I'll make I think I'll make a picture of that for the, for the thumbnail, just for fun. You know, when I started looking at all the kinds of eyeballs I have, I was pretty amazed. And then when I started separating them so I could easy have easy access to them, <laughs> I was like, well then, <laughs> I can put all my eyeballs on everything. So anyway, I hope y'all have enjoyed this. Um, if you want the links to anything, let me know. I'll see if I can find them for you. But um, like I said, for the little, the little pretties, just look under nail art and um, you'll be able to find them. So I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Love you guys. Blessings.